Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about some great Halloween fall reads with your kids. So here is my list of our favorites and there are a couple, I mean I'm sure I'm, I'm missing several. So if you have any ideas for things that you've enjoyed reading with your kids during the fall time, put them in the comments. I would love to see that or if you have thoughts on any of these. So first up is Winnie the Pooh by A.A. Milne. We just found this this year. We've been listening to it on Audible and I really recommend reading it or listening to it on Audible. It's it's really been great. But these are kind of cool because they also have illustrations that are line, line illustrations. My six-year-old asked for these for his birthday because he just wanted to cozy up on the couch with me and look through them too. So that's been really a fun thing. There's a blustery day. I don't even know what our favorite story is by it, but we, we've really been enjoying the antics of the 100 Acre, Acre Wood. My kids love it when other children and characters get in trouble as you'll see from some of the other selections and yeah it just makes kids feel more normal because they're always getting into mischief too. <laughs> so second up are uh, the Wind in the Willows. We just found this one. This is by Kenneth Graham and this one's illustrated by Don Daly. We got it from the library and my eight-year-old added this to his Christmas wish list because he really enjoyed it. He's been a little bit more of a reluctant reader and so I've been enjoying getting classics that have illustrations in them so he can kind of feel uh, like it's not as scary. The language is just superb as far as um, we've actually been discussing adjectives a lot just by reading this book and trying to hammer home the importance of descriptive writing and it yeah they're the main character or one of the main characters gets in trouble, he gets arrested for speeding and crashing and there's, <laughs> there's cross-dressing to try and escape prison and it's just a really fun read for children who enjoy mischief because there's several characters, well really one character in particular that makes several questionable decisions. <laughs> so they've really enjoyed that. Another one we enjoy is The Legend of Spookly the Square Pumpkin. We read this every Halloween and while it has a storm in it so it's kind of you know spooky feeling it's not um, it's not too scary basically Spookly is a square pumpkin and he kind of doesn't feel like he fits in because he's square <laughs> but he ends up saying saving the day at the end of the book and of course teaching you that all shapes and sizes have their their unique features that can come in handy so we've really enjoyed that one Another one that is one of our favorites is The Spider and the Fly, and it's based on the poem by Mary Howitt, and this one's illustrated by Tony Ditcher Lizzie, as it's called the cot winner. But this book, I love the illustrations, and if you look at the details on some of it, basically the story is a fly who is lured into the spider's web and house, despite the warnings of the other insects. Uh, like this, this insect's holding a joy of cooking bugs. This ghost insect is trying to warn her, but she gets flattered into his web of deceit and ends up meeting her, her doom at the end. And I think as a grown up, you recognize several layers as far as heeding warnings of risky behavior and maybe paying attention to what other people have experienced. But uh, it, it's, it's a, it's a fun read and the language is good, obviously, but the illustrations are phenomenal. This one is actually more for our t my toddler, and we have several of this. It's the baby lit version. I picked out the Sherlock Holmes Hound of the Baskerville Baskervilles, which is a sounds primer, like screech and crackles and all that. But this one's probably my favorite. Frankenstein, an anatomy primer. And obviously with toddlers, you're working on building their their vocabulary and teaching them words for different things, and they love pointing at at things in books and being able to say what the words are. So this one's kind of a fun one. And Frankenstein is one of my all time favorite books. So hands down, I love, I love reading any version of Frankenstein, anything. So if you know of any other Frankenstein books that are, yeah, put those in the comments. Cause that makes me happy. Another thing that I've enjoyed reading with kids is of course, if you don't have um, squeamish children, Grimm's fairy tales, I liked reading them as a kid because I feel, felt like they were a little bit more interesting than the uh, Disney versions. I liked when the characters got their comeuppance for bad behavior, uh, especially Cinderella's stepsisters. <laughs> the blood on the track, blood on the track. So yes, if, if your child does not like blood, don't, don't read Grimm. 
So those are a few of the older, uh, or the, the ones that we might read out loud that are shorter. And next up, I'm going to talk to you about books that are a little bit longer read aloud. The ones that I'm planning on reading for those include The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. And this book, I thought of this one because my children have recently been introduced to the movie Clue with Tim Curry. And I, they've never really gotten into mystery before. And we don't have, you know, Angela Lansbury with Murder, She Wrote and all those other kind of fun things. But I thought this was a fun one. There's a murder, there's a will, and there's people who are trying to solve the, the mystery. But it's it's for kids, and it's so it's not, like, gory or disgusting as far as I remember. So I'm excited about reading this one. Also, uh, I'm picking up The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. And this is the Illustrated Classics Edition. Again, my eight-year-old gets nervous about just straight-up chapter books, so I'm excited that there's several different uh, illustrations in there so he's not as nervous. Um, so I think that'll be fun. We just kind of take turns reading paragraphs and the like. And then third is Roald Dahl's The Witches. He has not done any wrong by my children so far. They've really enjoyed BFG. Fantastic Mr. Fox was probably one of their favorites for several years. So I'm excited about picking up this book and seeing what he brings us in here. So those are my Halloween reads. If you have any suggestions that you've enjoyed reading with your kids, or if you have questions about any of these, go ahead and put it in the comments. Like, subscribe. Uh, I'm really enjoying communicating with other other booktubers about what they're enjoying, especially if they're parents. I, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So have a good, cozy fall and uh, not too spooky Halloween. Talk to you later. Bye.